Today our topic is that how to establish the best vision sphere. As you know that the best vision sphere is the second important step in subjective reflection. And the first step is called the visual acuity. So after recording the monocular visual acuity, we will establish the best vision sphere. And now we will learn that how to establish the best vision sphere. The requirement of this step is, first of all, we need a universal trial frame. The range of minus spherical lenses and the plus spherical lenses. We need a visual acuity chart. We will put the trial frame on the face of the patient and we will occlude one eye of the patient. So left eye is occluded and we will establish the best vision sphere of the right eye. Now, first of all, we require the recorded visual acuity of the patient of the right eye and the left eye. And as you can see, the visual acuity in the right eye of the patient is 6 by 24. And visual acuity in the left eye is 6 by 18. And now we will establish the best vision sphere in the right eye. So right now, we note now that our patient is hyperopic. He required plus lenses or he is myopic. He required minus lenses. So for this, we need the probe lenses. The probe lenses are the lenses which we need to establish the best vision sphere. And these probe lenses could be of any power. Like it could be in minus or it could be in plus. The power of the probe lenses depends upon the visual acuity of the patient. Now as you can see, we have visual acuity and the probe lenses accordingly. So if we have the visual acuity of the patient is 6 by 60, then we need plus 1 or minus 1 dioptric sphere. And if the visual acuity of the patient is 6 by 12, then we need plus 0 0.5 or minus 0 0.5 dioptric sphere. And if the visual acuity of the patient is less than 6 by 12 or 6 by 9, then we need plus 0 0.25 or minus 0 0.25 dioptric sphere lens. And as you know that the visual acuity of our patient is 6 by 24 in the right eye. So we will select the probe lenses accordingly. And now I will pick up the probe lenses from the minus section and from the plus spherical section. So the lens number 1 is minus 0 0.5 spherical. And lens number 2 is plus 0 0.5 spherical as you know that the visual acuity of the patient in the right eye is 6 by 24 and now we will target which is the lower line from the 6 by 24 and the target of the patient would be 6 by 18 and now I will put the lens number 1 which is plus 0 0.50 spherical and I will ask the patient that the visual acuity is improving or not. Tell me after this lens your visual acuity is improving or not. No. So the patient is rejecting plus spherical and now I will put the lens number 2 which is minus 0 0.5 spherical. Now tell me the visual acuity is improving or not. Improving. That's good. So our patient is somehow myopic. Now the patient has preferred the minus spherical lenses and now I will increase the power of these minus lenses until the patient get the maximum visual acuity. And now I will increase the minus power before the patient's eye. The last probe lens was minus 0 0.5 spherical. And now I will increase the minus power. And now the power of the lens is minus 1 spherical. Now tell me, the visual acuity is improving? Yeah, it's improved. Yes, the visual acuity of the patient is getting clear. Now I have increased the more minus lenses before the patient's eye. And now the lens is of minus 1.50 spherical. And the patient's visual acuity is getting clearer and clearer.
and I will increase this minus power until the patient gets maximum visual acuity. And when the patient gets maximum visual acuity, that minus lens would be our best vision sphere. So as you know that the visual acuity of the right eye of the patient was 6 by 24 and patient preferred minus spherical lenses. And after increasing the minus power before the patient's eye, suppose the visual acuity of the patient in the right eye is 6 by 6 with minus Two spherical. So this minus 2 from which the patient gained the maximum visual acuity this spherical correction would be our best vision sphere. Another example if the unaided visual acuity of the patient the visual acuity with the naked eye was 6 by 24 in the right eye and patient preferred minus spherical lenses. So after increasing the minus power before the right eye of the patient, if the visual acuity is 6 by 9 with minus 1.5 spherical, then this 1.5 spherical would be our best vision sphere. And the rest of the visual acuity may be improved with the astigmatic correction or the cylindrical lenses. So if our patient prefer the minus spherical lenses, we will increase the minus spherical lenses. And if our patient prefer the plus spherical lenses, we will increase the plus spherical lenses. Hope all is clear regarding the best vision sphere. And in the very next video, we will learn about the duochrome test. And the duochrome test is about that how we can verify the best vision sphere.